subscribe now. EU debates. I think this is a historical informal meeting among NATO foreign ministers that we have here in Berlin. Very, very uh, pleased to be here. Yesterday we had our uh, close two partners with us, um, Sweden and Finland. And um, we will look forward to see what their decision will be. But there's no doubt Denmark will, of course, um, support warmly if, if uh, Finland and Denmark decide to join NATO to, to, um, to have a speedy process and ensure that, that we will have um, them as part of our, of our family. What we see in, in the world and Europe today is that um, authoritarianism uh, is back in a very brutal form. When Putin, uh, Russia, uh, illegally um, uh, now uh, show aggression against Ukraine by the uh, war of conquest that we see, uh, we have all to come together. Uh, we do that in European Union, we do that also in NATO, and we do that with, with helping our Ukrainian friends. Uh, we do that with sanctions, we also do that with, with help of military help to Ukrainians so they can defend their own country. Uh, so we have to look into a world where we cannot take our security for granted, our values, democratic values uh, and rules, international rules for granted, and therefore we all as democratic countries have to stand up. So today, when we are going to discuss our uh, new strategic concept of NATO, we have to take stock of that situation and improve all of our cooperation, both the political and the, and the security and military part of it. And we have to see into a world where Russia and Putin is uh, an aggressor, uh, where we, um, compared to last time in 2010, where, we, where Russia was a partner and China was not even mentioned in the concept, now we will see that, that Russia is an aggressor and that China is a rising country uh, in the world. So we need to, to stand united in NATO about, uh, around our values, democratic values. We need to stand united around our security. And uh, I look forward to the discussion today on these matters. And I also look forward to the discussion for, for continuous support for Ukraine uh, in the situation that, that they are in. And we will not stop supporting democratic values and Ukraine and countering authoritarianism before it ends. Yeah, it's no doubt that the, the partner, partner countries to NATO, it's very important for us, including Georgia, that we have a close and strong partnership. Uh, our view in Denmark is that each and every European country has a fundamental right to choose their own security arrangement. No country can have a veto over that, Russia or, or anybody else. And we have to protect our democratic values. We see now in a, a world where... Uh, the enemy of democracy, number one, is with Putin and, and the thinking that he represents. And we have to counter that and we will help and stand with also Georgia and other countries that are um, now being uh, instrumentalized for this kind of authoritarianism uh, and aggression from the Russian side. Okay, thank you.